text if I use screen bottom boards or solid bottom boards in my own personal colonies and actually even at the University of Florida where I work. But my team and I and, and myself included, even personally, we, we tend to use screen bottom boards. There's a fair amount of research that shows that if you use screen bottom boards, you can reduce varroa populations in your colonies. Now, it's important to know that screen bottom boards are not a curative for varroa. They simply aid in the reduction of varroa populations. I think that that is, is somewhere in the 10 to 20 percent range. I usually see it hovering around 15 percent. So the next question that I always get with related to, to solid versus screen bottom boards is, well, do you use screen bottom boards throughout the year? And I'll remind you that I'm in Florida and in Florida, we don't have particularly cold winters. So I just use screen bottom boards throughout the year. And in fact, I, I think in most of the uh, Southern half of the states in the US, beekeepers could get away uh, with using screen bottom boards even throughout winter and not having to close them. If I lived in a northern climate, I would probably close the screen bottom boards in winter just to make sure there are no cool drafts that get into the high while the bees are clustering. My general feeling about screen bottom boards versus solid bottom boards is that at the end of the day, screen bottom boards certainly don't hurt your colonies. There's plenty of research to show that they help. So you have to have a bottom board on your colony anyway. So why not use screen bottom boards? And that's, that's generally how I think about whether or not I'm going to use screen or solid bottom boards.